Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this example will finish up section 1.2, part 1. Now, on your actual class notes, the way this function is written, h of x, there's an x minus 4, and there's a division bar, and there's an x plus 1. What that really means is that you have a rational function, and what I mean by that is you have a numerator and a denominator, and the denominator has a variable. So the best way to rewrite that function from your notes is to write this. h of x equals x minus 4 on the top, x plus 1 on, in the denominator. Okay? Part A asks us to find h of negative 7. Now, in general, the function has x minus 4 on the top, x plus 1 on the bottom. So, on the top, that would become negative 7 minus 4, right? The minus 4 was already there. We put the negative 7 in the place of x. On the bottom, we have x plus 1. That becomes negative 7 plus 1. This is just arithmetic. On top, I have negative 11. On the bottom, I have what? Negative 6. Negative over negative is a positive, so my answer is 11 over 6. So part A is really not too exciting. It's simply plugging a number into both locations of the input. Part B asks us to find h of negative 1. Okay, so on top we would have negative 1 minus 4. On the bottom we would have negative 1 plus 1. We're in trouble. Whenever a denominator becomes 0, we're, we're dead. Okay, that answer is meaningless, and the correct way to write that, you don't even put equals, h of negative 1, undefined. So the correct answer is, you can either say h of negative 1 does not exist, h of negative 1 is undefined, that, the best way to say it is it's undefined, but definitely don't put equals because it doesn't equal anything h of negative 1 is undefined. Anytime a denominator of a rational function becomes 0, dividing by, a, dividing by the answer 0, mathematically you can't do it. Okay, my last example here, I'm finding h of x plus t. Now, this is my input. So in the numerator, okay, in the numerator, I have x minus 4. In other words, I have input minus 4. In the denominator, I have input plus 1. That's my original, how my original function is defined for the out, you know, to get the output. What am I putting in? I'm putting in x plus t. I'm putting in x plus t. Now, sometimes I see students get this far and then they go, oh, look, those cancel. That's not happening. With a minus and a plus, you can't just randomly cancel pieces, okay? You can only cancel when it's multiplication. And that's not multiplication here. It's subtraction and it's addition. So the numerator becomes x plus t minus 4. And the denominator becomes x plus t plus 1. And again, I even see students at this point go, oh, look, they cancel. No, they don't. With this minus and a plus, this is an all or nothing. You either take all of me or you take none of me. And in this problem, you take none of me. That is my ugly but correct answer. And we are done with 1.2 part 1. It's finished. Thank you for watching these videos. I hope they're helping.